Now, uh, visualization of fluid flow using Reynolds number apparatus, lecture for mechanical engineering laboratory 2. So, Reynolds number apparatus, so as in figure, so yan ang Reynolds number apparatus. The apparatus consists of a glass tube with one end having a bell mouth entrance connected to a constant head water tank. So, ito water tank. At the center, at the other end, a bulb is provided to vary the flow rate. So, ito yung glass tube. Ito yung bulb. Ito yung nagbabari yung flow rate mo dyan. Ito yung tanke. Okay? May laman to. Pag binuksan mo, so magpo-plus siya doon. Ito rin pala. The tank is of sufficient capacity to store water. A capillary tube is introduced centrally in the bell mount for feeding dye from a small container. Ito, ito yung bell mount. Placed at the top of the tank through fully thin, fully thin tubing. So by varying the rate of flow, the Reynolds number is changed. This is this is also changed the type of flow. Uh, visual observation of the dye thread well will indicate the type of flow. So, uh, yung turbulence alam na which can be confirmed from the Reynolds number computed present setup is self contained water circulating unit so pump, babalik naman sa taas provided with a sump tank and a centrifugal pump etc flow control valve and bypass valve are fitted in water line flow rate of water is measured with the help of measuring cylinder in and stopwatch so, pag anong gaano katagal yung napuno yung cylinder, sumakwa mo yung flow rate nun. Objective. So, to perform the Reynolds na experiment for determination of regimes of flow. Diba? Transition, laminar, and turbulent. Ito yung purpose ng Reynolds experiment. May 6. So, the flow of real fluid can basically occur under two very deep, different regimes, namely the laminar and turbulent flow. The laminar flow is characterized by fluid particles moving in the form of laminar sliding over its other, such that at any instant, the velocity at all the points in particular lamina is the same. The laminar near the flow boundary move at a slower rate as compared to those near the center of the flow passage. This type of flow occurs in viscous fluid. Taas yung viscosity. The fluids moving at a slow velocity and fluids flowing through the narrow passages. The turbulent flow is characterized by constant agitation and intermixing of fluid particles such that their velocity changes from point to point and even at the same point from time to time. This type of flow occurs in low density. So fluids flow through wide passages and in high velocity flow. The mga gas, diba? Air. So Reynolds conducted an experiment for observation and determination of this regime of flow by introducing a fine, fine, fine filament of dye into the flow of water through the glass tube at its entrance. He studied the different types of flow. At low velocities, the dipole filament appeared as a straight line through the length of the tube and parallel to its axis, characterizing laminar flow. As the velocity is increased, the dipole filament becomes wavy throughout indicating transition flow. On further increasing the velocity, the filament breaks up and diffuses completely in the water in the glass tube, indicating the turbulent flow. After conducting his experiment with pipes, different diameter, and with water at different temperatures, Reynolds concluded that the various parameters on which the regimes of flow depend can be grouped together in a single non-dimensional parameter, the called Reynolds number. 
So, Reynolds number is defined as the ratio of inertia force per unit volume and is given by Re is Bd rho over mu is equal to Bd over mu. This is uh, V. Nu yan, nu. Well, Re, so hindi siya naka-italics, Reynolds number. Ito so, naka-italics na velocity of flow. The characteristic length is diameter in case of pipe flow. So, sa fluid mechanics yun na yan. Rho is the mass density of velocity. Mu is the dynamic viscosity of fluid. Mu is kinematic viscosity of fluid. Reynolds observed that in case of flow through pipe for values of Ra less than 2,000, the flow is laminar. While Ra greater than 4,000, it is turbulent. And for 2,000 to 4,000, Reynolds number, it is transition flow. So, you go to the equipments. At when tayo ng stopwatch, agad dito yung cylinder and Reynolds apparatus, which consists of water tank having a glass tube leading out of it. The glass tube has a bell mouth at entrance and regulating valve at the outlet. A die containing with an arrangement for injecting a fine filament of die at the end of the glass tube. Procedure one. Fill the water tank with water and allow it to stand for some time so that the water comes to rest. Two, note the temperature of water. Three, partially open the outlet valve of the glass tube and allow the flow to take place at very low rate. Four, allow the flow to establish then open the valve at the inlet of the dye injector and allow the dye to move through the tube. Observe the nature of the filament. Five, measure the discharge by collecting water in the graduated cylinder in the gra for a certain interval of time. Repeat three and five for different discharge. Step three, so four, four, five, six. Six, again, note the temperature of water. So observation, so main temperature of water, so ano yun? Kinematic viscosity of water, diameter of glass tube. Yan. So, by table to. Basit sa temperature, makakuha mo yung viscosity. Diameter of blast tube, given. So, yan. Yan magiging output nyo. So, dyan, makakuha mo na yung velocity, uh, Reynolds number. Okay? So, ito yan. Dye, papasok doon. So, ito yung gate valve. So, dito, ma-observe mo na yung flow. Okay, so this is the end. Thank you very much.